Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series episode 46. We are picking up a little bit from where we left off in the last episode, actually quite a bit from where we left off in the last episode. I have been doing a ton of work off camera, gathering resources for our next, next project here. And to be honest, I was planning on doing a whole other project, but then I needed resources for that, so that led us to doing another project for this episode, so that is good. And this project requires me getting a bunch of sand and a bunch of black dye, because I need a bunch of black stained glass. You will see why later down the road. But basically, what we're going to be making today is a iron golem farm. Yes, because I'm missing iron, and I want a way of getting it. And yeah, I want an iron golem farm because they're cool, and it means that I don't have to mine that much. So yeah, we will be doing that today. Hopefully it's going to be a pretty simple task. Hopefully. The part that I'm most worried about is actually getting villagers to it. We need four villagers for it. And no, I'm not going to the village and stealing them. Because that's a lot of minecart rails and I don't even think I have that many rails. So, and I, yeah, I know I don't have that many rails. And also, I don't think I have enough iron to even make the rails. So, yeah, that um, that's an issue. So... But I do believe that I have a plan B. Let me get home, let me sleep, and then let me show you what I have in mind. Be right back. Alright, so all of the glass or the sand is now smelting. And in the meantime, let me head out here and show you my project's chest. Because, ah, hey, hey, that, ow, 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 that hurts. Anyways, let me show you my project's chest. Now, of course... In the last episode, we built the Patreon wall, which is still standing. And I must say, I absolutely love how it looks there in the distance from the base and the bridge and everything. It's not really a distance. It's a, it, it looks good. I haven't really worked any... I don't think I have worked at all over there, but I'll do that at another time. I've been busy gathering resources for this project. Now, let me show you. I have a chest over here, which actually blew up. So I had to, yeah, it blew up by a creeper, so that's that's fun, as you can see. But anyways, opening this, whoop, this is the stuff that we will be needing, and this will probably lead you to realize what I have planned. I think the easiest will basically be to find zombie villagers, lead them up, and then curing them and make them into villagers. Now, last time I did this, a creeper snuck up behind me, or close to me, and blew up while I was looking in the chest. I don't like this place. <laughs> But basically, that is what we will be needing for this project. Now, I already have some black stained glass, but I realized after some testing and configuration, blah, 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 that I needed a lot more. Also, this is way too much wood. We don't need this much wood, hopefully, anyway. Um, but it is nice to have extra. Also, because once this thing is built, I will make a bridge from the hole over there that I actually got out of. A bridge from there all the way over to the nether portal, which will also lead right under here. I believe right here, actually. Boop! Right here, which will house the chest where the iron is deposited. Deposited. Uh, I don't know. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> but we're pushing through this. Anyways, uh, this, is what, this is what we're gonna need. I just need the glass to smelt, and of course I need to kill some squids, but you know what? We can do that at another time. Let me show you, actually. Let's actually... I'm not going to make the bridge now, but I will make a short thing, and then we will move the make a yeah well i'll show you what that said blah 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 i'm mumbling let me put it right here i do believe that the uh, yeah that spider is creepy um yeah need to get rid of this put this here x marks the spot i make i made a little x here of torches all right so i should keep going like this let me get my coordinates in 30 blocks ish we should be at the portal, and that is another thing. I will not only be making this bridge, I will also be making something nice around the nether portal if I do get the time to do so. All of that you won't see uh, me building like this. I will do all of that once the iron golem farm has been created, um, and then you will watch that with the replay mod. Now hopefully... Yes, that is centered. Phew! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get back here. Let me get the... I didn't, of course, of course, I didn't note that. I do believe it's here, but let me note the coordinates for where the bridge comes off, and I'll be right back. 
All right, I was correct. It is actually this block right here. So move out two and then one. Uh, actually, let me think. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. And excuse me. And then in here will basically be the place where we have the chest. In fact, the chests will be right here. So move another. Then let's actually let's do. We're jumping right straight into this. So move in three. So this is three right here. Then we need another layer like so. I love this pickaxe. And then over here will be the killing chamber and the collection area where the hoppers will be. There will be lava right up here. So yeah, that is this place actually. All right, cool. I, I guess we're I guess we're starting. <laughs> <laughs> so, from what I remember, okay, that was my bad. It actually needed to be one further down than what I originally did here. So, whoopsie, my bad, but we can correct it. So, right here will be the chest. So, let me just get rid of this wood again. So, let me just double check. Do, 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 do. Yep, right there will be the chest. So I need to fix that again. So I believe it was like so. All right, cool. So let me just fix this bridge real. Ah, yeah. Let me just fix this. And let's make a crafting table because that is going to make life a whole lot easier. Uh, do 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 do. I need some slabs. That's right. Do do like so. All right. Let me get the other ingredient ingredients, building materials that I need. And uh, yeah. Bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that. Uh, don't need that right now. Need this, and okay, probably not all of it. Blah, 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 blah. Don't need that yet. Don't need that yet. Blah, 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 blah. Good. All right. Let's go down here. I didn't grab it. You know what? I have plenty of wood. <laughs> I have plenty of wood. I don't even think there was a chest up there. Anyways, put the chest here. And I, of course, don't have enough harvest. So that is just great me. But anyways, we will place nine, th a three by three area of harvest. I'm making this row go into this block. So this one goes into here, this one goes into here, this one goes into here. And then these all go into the ones in the center. That way, yeah, that's, you can do it different ways, but I, I like to do it this way. And then I needed three more harvest to go all the way over to the chest. And just because I'm low of iron, I'm putting the chest right there instead. Yes, I'm changing up the plans already. Haha. <laughs> and then I need the signs. I don't believe I need it right here. So that the iron golems will be covered in lava. So right there. Hold down shift and right click like so to place a sign on top of the other sign. This will block the lava from flowing out. And then we can pretty much just do this this and this and then put the lava right there and there we go that is the killing chamber this is actually very creepy and very scary to stand under so i'm gonna go out uh yep that's pretty much it for this area to be honest so just put some glass here so we can <laughs> watch we could also block it completely off but uh, no not doing that um yeah that's that's pretty much this this part done um I guess I can fix that. I'll fix that up later in the time lapse. Uh, you'll probably see it from up there with the replay mod or something, me doing up this entire area. But uh, yeah, so let me do, 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 do. Now I, of course, need the right coordinates to do things. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let me get those. All right. This is the spot we will be digging down. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we should come over th four blocks. And then there is the lava right there. So we're going to dig this out. And actually, we do need to dig this entire three by three above the lava here, all the way up to the surface, because this is where the iron golems will be dropped from. So doing this like so, and then continue this like so. And we actually need to remove all of this all the way from the surface and down because this is the the, the place where the iron columns will basically drop down. And I gotta be careful here not to land in the lava because that would be a very bad time for me because I don't have fire resistance. So yeah, that would um that that would hurt me a lot. 
Especially if I died with all of this armor with mending and such. That 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 would be tragic. But yeah, I'm gonna do all of this. Put some signs here. That's the thing, by the way. Put some signs not here, but here. So right after this, so put a sign here. Hold down shift and right click to add another sign and another one. Because then we will add water here, which will basically push the iron columns down and into the lava. I'm gonna get back up here and do the rest of this and I will be right back once again, hopefully, if I don't die. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright, so by the way, when you place the water, just place one on the far left and place another one on the far right. That will basically make the the middle one in between them fill out so it basically makes an infinite water source and yeah i removed the lava just so i can get back and forth easier <laughs> so basically just do this on the other side as well smack smack and of course gather the water and there you go now i can place the lava back but i'll do that once i'm actually done so i know that i won't get hurt and an accident will happen where i drop my pickaxe or something and then yeah hey buddy you want to test it you want to test it? I don't think so. All right, so now comes actually the top bit. And for that, we will still need our water and we will actually need quite a few fences, but we'll make those once we get up there. So now we got to take this black stained glass and then we got to go... Uh, do -do 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 -do. Yes, we got to go up from here all the way up to Y108. So... Just gotta keep going. And we're there. Perfect. Actually, that's not too high up. I, I, I thought it was gonna be high up, but nope. <laughs> All right, so then I'm gonna use a temporary block here. So move over, place three more, and then we can actually get rid of that. And then move all the way over to the other side. And I can't tell if they're in the right spot. This should be 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, we are correct. We're there. So place another temporary block there. Do this and boom. That's done. Now we need another crafting table and then we need a bunch of fences. Now we're going to place a fence on top of each and every of these glass blocks right here. Like so. I don't think I don't know if it's necessary or not I just do it just to be on the safe side but anyways now we come to the exciting water part so if we go over here then we got to place a temporary block right there then we're gonna take these block of quartz and then move eight blocks over like so so that's five six seven and eight then ten block and then up and remove the ten block so we don't sit down there and be like oh we missed this part and then move over four as well and then basically just repeat that all the way over to the other side hopefully i should have enough quartz for this i do believe i do but let me fill this in and then i'll be right back once again all right so i just realized that i actually didn't have quite enough quartz blocks so i had to go down and get six more actually four more those two just fell on the ground but anyways that doesn't matter now take the fence and move it all the way along. We don't need anything under here. So just move it over to here and then temp block and then that and then done. So follow these fences all the way around the edge and then we get to place the water. And there we go. That's that done. Now I could place the water right now, but I want to actually place a couple of torches here just to light the place up so it doesn't look like one big lump of well darkness so that is one two three four five and one two three so i've got to move over here this should be the center right 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 there put some over here as well just to light this place up and make it look a little bit nicer there we go nice so now for the water placement the only thing to take note of is not to right click on the fence gate because that will basically put the water inside the fence gate and it will float down to the ground. Gotta place it on the quartz block itself. Also this doesn't have to be quartz, it could be, uh, yeah, it, it could be another building block. I don't know if it can be glass, um, I don't know if the iron golems can spawn on glass, I'm not quite sure about that, it's, but yeah, it, the main thing is it doesn't have to be quartz. <laughs> um, Okay then, 
I need a little bit of a infinite water source here. So I'm going to just make that right over here. Just like so. Because apparently the water does not want to cooperate. So I need to place each and every one individually. Now this job is a lot easier if you have depth spider on your boots. So you don't get caught by the water as much. But uh, yeah, basically just fill all of this back row here with water. And you'll be good to go. And the last one. There we go. Get my last bucket here. And get my pickaxe back. Place something in here to get rid of that. Do this. And... Let's flow down. As you can see, the water does not go above the edges. So now we're an iron golem. We get pushed over. We down here. And then we down the lava. Die. Iron gets in here. And then in here. And gets it to us. So that's cool. All right. Now I just got to fill all of that glass in. But I'll do that, I think, off camera. To be honest, I could just use normal glass. But eh. Let's use black. Let's let's use the black glass. But anyways, let me just sleep real quick, and we will continue to the villager holding cells and the zombie holding cell. Oh yeah, if I didn't already mention, we need a zombie up there. Uh -huh. That's gonna be fun. All right, so now it's on to the villager and zombie holding cells. For that, we will take this part right here and pillar straight up into the, onto that block. Uh, we will not actually break it, but we will get our heads banging towards it. So just build up. It just has to be some, all these will be removed. It's just temporary, but uh, this is the easiest for now. And I do actually need my coordinates because we need to stop at right here. Right here, actually. And that will leave this right here. This is actually where the zombie is going to stand on. Now, I'm sorry if the water is a little bit loud, but anyways, this is where the zombie will stand on. There will be a some wood stuff around it. But anyways, moving on. So from this little X or plus sign, move along three. Sorry, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. You want to move five. And then put three out here. So you have something that looks like that. And then do that for all the other ones as well. So one, two. So that is uh, da, 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 one, two, da, da, five, something like this. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm good at this, uh, not really. All right, do that, and then another one over here. So one, two, three, four, five, three over, three over. Do that for the other one as well. One, two, three, four, five, three. No. Ah. Okay, I almost fell. I almost fell, but I didn't. Uh -huh, I didn't. And like so. And then we want to put glass around these. So right there, they're there, they're there. Uh, actually, wait with placing right there because I do believe that is where we want their workstation to be. Because yes, they do need a job. We want to give them a job. But right here, that'll do. Uh, I might have to break that. Let me see. Then we need to place. Then we need to place some right there. Let me get some more wood. Right, like so. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, let me figure out where the works. I didn't bring the work things. Ah, I'll be right back. All right, I remembered correctly. Place a barrel or any workstation. It doesn't have to be a barrel. I'm just using barrels because I have them. And I thought they were easy to make. So just place a barrel on the end here. This is where I place them. I don't know if, you, it, if it works just as well putting them... Uh, anywhere else. I believe it should work, but trust me, I have had issues with this thing and have been testing and testing with this thing because it just didn't work for me, but and, but this is where it finally worked, so I'm not changing anything right now. <laughs> but anyways, then over here, I do actually, we do want to remove these just so we can work, because right above this block, we're gonna place these right here and move out another one. Like so. Uh, I have to break this glass. That's unfortunate. But that's fine. Alright. This is pretty much that done. Now we somehow need... This is a zombie. He can't get out. He'll be like... Grr. He also won't actually burn in here. So that's good. But this is where the villagers will be. Now I'm not right done yet. We need some more glass in here. You see. We need to move up one, 
and then we need to put glass here as well so remove that move up one glass remove that up one glass and there we go yep that's right all right so just keep doing that and i will be right back once i've done this now if you want to do this a little bit smarter than i did you don't place this glass at all until you have done this part where you basically place the beds because now this is a nightmare for me but basically the way that i've found it working the best is you place a bit closest to the zombie like so the feet are right above the right at the touch of this glass here but the pillow is towards the outside so if i place this right here and place it like so that is how i find it working the best so like so i tried it in diff different ways but for me they when they get out of the bed they get out over there by the pillow so they would i've seen them glitch in the glass and then go out i don't know if that was because when i tested it i tested it on the ground where i then realized it had to be above because iron golems would then spawn on the ground itself so that didn't work but yeah again this is just how i found it working the best for me so place these right here this is where the zombies gotta go and uh yeah i don't need that there either what have i done there we go all right Okay, now we just gotta actually go down because that is actually the farm pretty much done. Now we just need the villagers and a zombie up there, name tag him. And yeah, that's not gonna be a pain at all. Um, I guess I just gotta make some dirt staircases and yeah, get it to work that way. <laughs> Alright, that is pretty much that if I have remembered everything. Um, now my task is to wait for night time, find a zombie, and give it the name tag right here called Simbo. Yes, we're gonna name him Simbo. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go hunt for some, uh, for some squid. So, I'm gonna do that, and I'll be back once I have made a dirt thing and found a zombie. So, stay tuned, I'll be right with you. I'm just coming back really quickly before the next clip of the video. I actually almost remember, uh, sorry, I almost forgot that you don't want the zombie first. Don't put the zombie first. Whatever you do, for me, that doesn't work. Don't put the zombie first. You gotta get the villagers in there, get them in there, make sure they have that job, make sure they're working for a little bit, make sure they're sleeping, and then you can introduce them to the zombie. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it, but that's how I find it working for me. So basically, right now, we just need four zombie villagers. So hopefully, I'll find some while I'm searching for some squids. So yeah, just wanted to let you know that because I mentioned the zombie first, but we don't want the zombie first. We want the zombie villagers in first. Made them into villagers, villagers, and yeah, you, you get the idea. Anyways, I'll show you how, how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Anyways, be right back. Here, squiddy, 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 squid. I should probably mention that you might want to, I don't know, add some lights around here as well, just to make sure that nothing bad happens up here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some lights here on the sides of these, right here, just to make it look a little bit cool from a distance as well. All right, there we go. Now, how I'm actually going to trap the zombie in here, or get the zombie villagers, uh, I'm not quite sure. I think I need to break some more glass, because this guy is going to come up. Then I got to break this. Then I got to break this. I got to break this. So what I can do is I can run up here. Probably block this off. Yeah, I don't need this. Don't want this. Not here. Get rid of that. Force the zombie to go up here. And then immediately... Put this right here make them go up through there do that boom and boom i have to be kind of quick about it but this hopefully should work so i'll be back once i have a zombie villager <laughs>
Alright, it has been quite a while in real life since the last clip. Not a day, but maybe probably a couple of hours. Um, the villager... Oh, hey there buddy, I'm gonna need you. I'm not ready for you yet though. Um, the villager part turned out to be extremely difficult. I did not, I did not end up getting a zombie villager. What I would actually recommend instead, probably because, yeah, I just didn't see one. And if I saw one, it was all the way out there when I went out for a little exploration mission. But anyways, as you can now see, all villagers are attended for. I just need to clean the less rest of the comfort up, but that'll despawn. But anyways, I managed to finally get all the villagers. Basically what I did was, you know the village that is right over there? I actually went over there. I stole two of the nitwits and which actually reminds me so they don't die because they're over here <laughs> I transported two of the nitwits all the way over here via minecart and it was a total nightmare because yeah it was a nightmare so uh, is that one okay I thought one of them was zombified but no I know this is extremely ugly, but I just don't want them to die because I might have another use for them. Hopefully they won't interfere with the farm, but we'll see because I do have a plan after we've gotten a zombie up there. But that is basically what I did. I cleared out that area up there, I closed off all the holes and I made the platform even bigger and then yeah, I basically took, took the ditwits over and then I bred them. So they had four baby villagers and then, oh dear. And then um, then I forced forced them into their little areas here. And yeah, here, here they now are. And so good, so far, so far, so good. I should say that is the right thing to say. Anyways, it is now time that we get the zombie up here. They have been up here. They have been working and all that stuff that I've been talking about. So how about we get the zombie up here? You seem like a good guy to go for. Come on. Now, I have no idea how easy this is going to be, because I have to get up here, and I have to get past the square, and I have to quickly place a block here, and then place a block here. Uh, it, no, that did not work. That did not work. Come on, buddy. Buddy. Okay, that's... that's... that is not gonna work. That... Okay, I think we will... Yeah, we need another test object. Okay, that did not work. Uh, hey, buddy, how about you? Come up here, <laughs> please. Come on, buddy. Come on. So I think what I need to do, I might need to do some piston, uh, piston trickery, but I hope not. I hope not. Okay, so once he comes up here, come on, come on. I gotta place this here. No, get back, get back. Back. Come on. No. No. Get get in. Get in. Get in. Come on, buddy. I'm right here. He does not want to move. If I go over there, he will come after me immediately. I need to push him somehow. Can I? Come on. He's so close. Ah, no. <laughs> Don't want that either. Ow. Come on, buddy. Move. Please, I don't want you to die either. Funny enough. You know what I could do? I don't have enough. Actually, I do. If I do this and I do this, maybe? No, I can't even place these. Now I don't have enough wood. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, do, 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 do. Ow. You're gonna die from that. You know that, right? If I just do that. Yes, and then, aha! We got you! Now I just gotta make sure... Ow! If he had died there... Okay, I gotta be super careful. Nope! Ah. I had my axe and I swung at him. Okay. 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 I think I know what... I, I, th I think I know what to do. Okay. I know what to do. G give me give me another zombie. Actually, this guy's perfect. Okay, hold on, hold on. Need to put this here. Wait, I hear an uncle. Is it already working? Hold on. Uh huh. Wait, that's two. Wait, is that three? Okay, okay. Well, is that three? That's four. <laughs> it's working splendid. <laughs> it's already working. 
That's perfect. I was afraid the villagers over there would m interfere, but uh, apparently not. Okay, I need to get. Okay, I need a little bit more wood. Uh, wood, 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 wood. That should be plenty. That will be plenty. Okay, need another zombie. Final zombie, and hopefully, we should be able to get this in the bag. Come on. Okay, don't tell me there isn't a zombie now that I actually need one. Guess I shouldn't have killed the other two. Ah, there's one. There's one. Hey, buddy. Come on, buddy. You got this. So I place one here, and then I place one here. Actually, sorry. I place this one here first. Eh. Nope. Zombie. Get back. Get back. This is not gonna work. This is not. This is not gonna work. I've already given, given up almost. Get back. Get back, you stinking undead. Okay. Okay, we gotta hurry. The sun is coming up. I refuse to wait another 10 minutes to do this. If he just gets under here, he will be safe. Place it now. And now. <sighs> okay. I don't know how I'm... Nope. Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Please get in there. Please. Maybe if I act fast enough... Okay, I don't need that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Is there another one? Please tell me there's another one. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. I have to need to wait another 10 minutes. That's frustrating. Anyways, I can show you real quick the other stuff that I have made in while I waited for stuff to happen and things to smelt. I've made this. I don't know if you have watched the time lapse yet. I don't know how I'm going to put this together. But anyways, I have made the bridge here, so we have a bridge moving. I guess I should put the ah. Let me clean that up. <laughs> I guess I should put the lava in. Lava in, shouldn't I? Let's actually go do that. I have not done the Nether portal yet because I wanted to get that working first, so that it could run while I built the stuff for the Nether portal. But uh, now I might want to change up that. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, okay. Anyways. I will probably gather some resources, something. Anyways, let me get the lava here. Here's the lava. Now, how am I actually gonna... I think I might need to kill these guys with the sword first. Yeah, probably. Ow. Aha, uh -huh. what you gonna do now? There we go. Now I just gotta... Not die, but it's working. The spawner, the, the spawner, the iron golem farm is now working. Now I just gotta wait till night time and get another zombie in here. And uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be fun. But I think I'm going to gather some more materials for the nether portal and do that time lapse. And then I'll be right back once again. So stay tuned. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the one. This is going to be the one. Hopefully. And place. Now it's to the trick of getting this block back in. Yes, I got him. Yes. Whoo. Finally. Ha ah, Victory. <laughs> Buddy, your name will be Zimbo, and I will forever hate you and your kind. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this dirt. Let's put a torch here and descend. And the iron golems are spawning. Oh boy, that was a challenge. <laughs> that was a real challenge. That 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 was difficult. I will have to say that was extremely difficult. Now I can finally take this thing down. Oh, hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Okay, I'm gonna take this down now. And then... Well, I'm hoping to finish the... Ow. What a... Aha. Uh -huh. I was hoping to finish the nether portal today. And I think I will try... But 
it requires a lot more resources than I thought. Yeah, you might look at my inventory and think, what on earth is he doing? But yeah, that's uh, gonna take a while to collect, especially the nether water. I apparently need a lot more nether water than I thought. But anyways, this thing should now be up and running. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that thing should now be up and running and it should be working perfectly. Let's take a look how much iron we already have because there were the four iron golems down there. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that. This thing is going to be amazing. I will need a double chest over there for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going... Okay then, that's only Pigman. But yeah, I'm going to collect some more resources and hopefully be able to do the nether portal. I have most... Okay, maybe I have half. Mainly because I'm missing the nether ward. I have plenty of nether brick cooking. Oh yeah, plenty of that. But I need nether ward. So yeah, I'll be right back with you on that and we will take it from there. All right, so now we are finally done. We are complete. The Iron Golem farm has been made, it is running, and I have actually been AFKing in a couple of, I think it has probably been running for like maybe an hour or two actually, because I've been gathering resources for the nether portal, which you have probably already seen. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this. This is actually the second day in real life, but we will see how I manage to puzzle it all together. But anyways, I think we should take a little tour. Um. Yeah, let's start over here actually. Let's start over by the... <laughs> let's start over by the base actually. So, I did add this door in the very very beginning because there was this cave that led out to the outside. So I added this back door here. We have utilized this now to get access to the nether, to the nether portal and now to the iron golem farm. We have also a staircase over here leading all the way up to the original platform that we made a long time ago and improved with more detailing and such. Special thanks to Atlantis for the help with that. I think I will improve this staircase over time, um, but not right now. I don't want to do that right now, but this staircase leads down to the base as usual, and like it has always done. But yes, if we go... Ah. If we go back this way, then we also have a stair which leads down to the desert itself, because it is a pain when I come from my XP grinder all the way over there and then have to go all the way back there and then up. Now I can just take a left turn and then I will be home. So that is actually pretty cool. I like this a lot. And it leads straight to the iron spawner, iron golem spawner as well. But to the left here we now have the other portal which I have made even bigger and I think it's not, it's not a big design. Actually, hold on. I'm missing something there. Hold on. I am missing <laughs> something. Give me a second here. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize that I was missing that little detail, but anyway, sorry about that. But anyways, here we have the nether portal. It's not the big design thing, really, but I just thought it would be cool to utilize some of the new um, blocks. These, what are they even called? I think they're called, what? Uh, red nether bricks. I think they look really cool, so I decided to use them. Um, though it did take up all, pretty much all my supply of nether water. I think I literally only have like four left. But anyways, it is pretty cool. If we go on top just to take a look at it, let's remove that ugly crafting table and we can see how it looks here on the top. I think it's pretty cool and a pretty cool addition just to add to this nether portal. But anyways, moving on over here, we have the Iron Golem spawner. Now, as I've said, this world has been running for like maybe a couple of hours with this thing turned on. Oh dear, this is gonna get loud. Yeah, this is gonna get loud. And I already know kinda how much it is. And let me say this. It is very efficient. Let me show you. There we go, pizza quiet. Look at that. That is how much iron we have made just from me AFKing over by my farm 
maybe for an hour or so and also be building the nether portal and such. I think the hand gold farm was on there as well. So maybe let's just round it to two hours of AFKing. This is how much we got. That is a lot of iron right there. So that is really, really cool. I gotta say. Now, I did follow a tutorial for this um, by Waddles. I will leave a link for the video down below in the description, but it did not work for me. I followed the tutorial and it did not work, but it is that design that I have uh, used, but his exact, the exact copy of his did not work for me. I had to do some tweaks and actually by the help of a comment on that video, um, which was a comment saying the trick that I told you about with the zombie, where you put the villagers in there first, then they get their work designated, they work, and then they go to bed and sleep, and then you can introduce them to the zombie. Um, that is actually the one of the comments in that video that that uh, that said that's how that's what you needed to do, and I followed that comment, and well, it works. So that is basically the design I have used. Um, but yeah, there, there you go. I have made other modifications to it. If you watch this video and then this one, you will see that not everything is the same. But that is just how it works for me. And I, I don't know if everything has to be this way that I have made it. But this is how it works for me. And I did not want to start changing other things because I had big issues with it. And I was fighting with it for a very long time and I couldn't get it to work. But now I got it to work and then I just left it there. So if you want to use my design, go ahead and use it if you want. I got to clean all of this mess up. But you know what? That is fine. And the villagers, the nitwits, the two green guys over there. Yep, they're gonna stay there for a little bit until I decide what to do with them. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Now, before we go, before you go, before you go, don't go yet, don't go yet. We are at episode 46, which means we're getting close to the round 50. At episode 50, I might as well spoil it right now, I want to fight the Ender Dragon. I think it is about time that we get out there with our sword, with our armor, and defeat that dragon. Defeat the beast. So that is what I want to do for episode 50. So probably episode 49 will probably be searching for the stronghold. Maybe, maybe before that, I'm not sure. But just so you have something to look forward to, episode 50 will be the episode where we will defeat the end. Well, I can't say for sure if we will defeat it, but we're gonna try and fight it anyway. Uh, not fight it, fight it. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to use this design, go ahead and use it. Again, I will leave a link down below for the video that I followed. And if I can, I will also include the comment because that is, I think, what helped me a lot to get it to work as well. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave it a like and share it with your friends. And subscribe if you think it earned it. Helps the channel grow. Enables those notifications as well. All the links for stuff down below for Discord, Patreon, Twitter, blah, blah. All, the, all that good stuff. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And we ended with an iron column falling into the spawner. Sorry, into the farm. Great. All right. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. You know, before I was lacking iron, now I'm starting to worry that I won't have space to store it all. Uh, I need to think about a silo storage system, maybe. Hmm.